That 19 presents Burning Questions, featuring customer inquiries about curiously awesome gifts. And now, here's your host, Greg Poupon. Our first question concerns whipped scented putty, a pliable plaything that comes in a variety of food scents. Huey Lewis in the Fake News asks, if I combined my 37 putties together, how far could I stretch it? How far? That far. Our next question is about Slaps Lollipops, sweet and salty suckers on a stick that can fold and flex. The Joaquin Dead ponders, could you make a candy glove for slapping someone? Sweet and a salty. <laughs> Our next question concerns the slug light, an adorable soft silicone lamp made in the shape of a sweet little slug. Baby Got Back to the Future 93 wants to know, I bought more than one slug light. Do I have to worry about them multiplying? If you're ready to accept a slug light into your home, please adopt at vet19.com. We turn now to weapons pens, handcrafted writing implements that look like tools of destruction. The real simp shady wonders, will it get me stopped in airport security? Yeah, uh, uh, uh. doesn't want more attention from the TSA. Our next question concerns the kinetic spinning ball, a fascinating desk toy featuring a hypnotizing etched spiral pattern. Lucky Charms Kinda Life asks, does it spin the opposite way in Australia? That's a 26 hour flight. The next question concerns dirt soda, a carbonated beverage that tastes like sweetened soil. Metallic Baldwin asks, can you germinate a seed in it? Moving on, our next question is about the infamous poop knife, a silicone knife made for cleaving your turds in twain. Jeff B.I. interrogates, does the poop knife work better than a knife made of actual poop? There 
it is. Next in our list is a question about enchilada soda, a fun fizzy beverage flavored like a plate of enchiladas. Candyman Candyman asks, what tastes better, this soda or an enchilada smoothie? Enchanada. Another inquiry involves sour pickle balls, soft candies with intense sour pickle flavor. Fast Break 383 asks, if I drink super sour soda while I eat a sour pickle ball, will my face pucker out of existence? Next up, we have the Autoloader Screwdriver, a multitasking multi-tool that lets you magically switch between tool sets. Big Nas X asks, if this screwdriver has so many tools, what will I do with all the empty slots on my tool belt? More room for hot dogs. Our next question concerns Gazillion Sky Bubbles, a flying bubble maker capable of making a flurry of bubbles. Just a regular sponge asks, can I use it to prank people with farting spray? I wonder where the other gas mask went. We turn now to the Stylophone, a pocket-sized retro synthesizer. Fondant queries, could I use the Stylophone to start a band? Awful. That's bad. Our next inquiry concerns desktop tetherball, a tiny tetherball kit for your tabletop. Scarlet Twitch ponders, since it's called a desktop tetherball, can I use my other desktop items to play with it? Well, that fun is coming out of their paychecks. Our next question concerns chopstick pencils, a pair of writing implements made to look like the famed Asian eating utensils. The Phantom Menace to Society nerdily asks, do they work with food? Can I use them to eat food? Who knows? Do we take your questions literally? Yes. Our final question is about toaster toasted bags, non-toxic non-stick bags you can use to toast whole sandwiches in your toaster. Peter Gryffindor hungrily asks, could I use these to make s'mores in my toaster?
After all, a s'more is just a candy sandwich. Well, that's it, and that's all. Until next time. I will raise you as my own. Backlighting.com